Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jay back at it again with another video. So I've been shooting a little bit here and there, but I haven't been posting because I just haven't been able to film an actual full video yet. Like just yesterday, I was hiking up in Kalani Provincial Park. Uh, I went up with Sanjay and Eric, some of my good friends that I met on Instagram. Um, I'll link them over here and here. So we went up to Killarney Provincial Park and we hiked the crack. So if you guys don't know, the crack is actually one of the more difficult rated trails by the uh, provincial parks. So it's like a two hour hike. Um, the first hour is mostly just flat ground, but then the second part, you're gonna have to be kind of on, on like all fours climbing rocks. And why it's called the crack is because there are actually, there's actually a path um, where you walk through and it's like these huge rocks that uh, look like they just cracked apart and you kind of walk through that to get to the top of the hill. So I don't even know what to call this video, but I did want to talk about my camera straps, of course, from the title of this video, but I want to show you some clips of yesterday as well. So here you go. We're already going so slow. <laughs> Well, I can't make it <laughs> Sanjay's like 1237. Yep. Gonna make it in one hour. <laughs> At this point, you're a part of a 78 kilometer overnight backpacking trail. If you continue on this loop, you'll be hiking for seven to ten days before coming oh. back. Here. Dude. So if you go the wrong if you go the wrong turn, yeah. you're fucked. Exactly. <laughs> Are we down for a <laughs> So uh bro, you're you are you are gonna be ready for the uh the seven day uh trip, right? Yeah yeah, I got everything I need in here, man. <laughs> I got blanket and I got food. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I have seven cigarettes, one for every day. <laughs> Damn, don't even need food, right? No, no, you, I can eat this tobacco. <laughs> like you're gonna smell cigarettes every hour? <laughs> Alright, this is official. We're at the beginning of the route to the crack. Only two kilometers. Only two kilometers, right? We'll be there in 30 minutes. Yeah, we got Come this, on. we got this. Release the kraken. Release, <laughs> release the kraken. <laughs> So it was kind of a hard hike for me. I've done it twice already, but still it's really hard and I finished my power rate so quick. And Sanjay and Eric, they're pretty good. They're like, they got good, they got good cardio endurance. So they went ahead. All right, this is where the rocky parts start. It doesn't look steep in the camera though, but it's actually pretty steep. The view up there, the view at the top is actually really beautiful. So you guys must check it out if you haven't been before. Uh, while we were heading back to Toronto, we actually went past a forest fire because it hasn't been raining for a month um, up there in around the Georgian Bay area. So everywhere was super dry. Going up there, we didn't see any fires, but coming back, just all of a sudden, there was these huge smoke clouds and mist everywhere, and we could barely see. It was kind of foggy, 
but it was like fog but a lot grayer and darker and it was like 19 kilometers of forest fire this is like my first time seeing the fire and luckily no one got hurt but i was kind of feeling bad of the nature that was kind of getting ruined because of that guys so we're driving right now and look how like foggy it is but it's not even fog it's smoke it's like smoke, it's smoke. And we don't know where the fire is coming from, but we can smell it. And this time of year, we know that there's a warning for the forest fires. So we're just hoping everybody is safe and you know. We're passing through the French Provincial Park, so most probably there's a fire there. Yeah. And there's a helicopter that's like dropping water. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that was, that's a big fire, man. Yo, look at, look at the sky, dude. Yeah, the sky is like orange. That's where the fire is coming from, no? Or no, is that just the sun? Maybe that's just the sun, bro. Dude, I don't know, man. Have you ever <laughs> seen the sun like that? Dude, we Yo, were driving. Okay, guys, dude, dude, I think guys, this is guys. the fire. This oh, is, that's it. Huh? That's the fire. The fire is over here. Guys, look. Active forest fire, watch for heavy smoke. That's damn. Total number of blazes to at least 65, 34 of which remain out of control. Oh, oh wait, so this so has been going on since last night? Yeah. So it's it's been ignited by a lightning strike? Yeah. That makes wow. sense. So yeah, what we saw this morning was actually a fire. Yeah, because I because I, I I mentioned it. I was like I was just joking. I was like, oh, is this like some kind of mist or is it a fire? So just a warning: if you're hiking and you see a sign that says no fire, don't definitely don't have any campfires or even smoke. If you're if you're a smoker, don't even smoke in the parks because a cigarette butt could ignite a huge fire. So definitely look out for that anyways let's get to the review so i'm always looking for good camera straps to use and i think i found the right ones i have these two right here they are made by a company called peak design so i have one wrist strap to use and i also have a shoulder strap um, as you can see um, this one is mainly for mirrorless cameras and this one you can basically use for anything but what i love about these is that they're interchangeable so um, it comes with these, um, I don't know what they're called, but these mounting points that you tie onto your camera. Let me just show you what they look like really quick. So it's basically one of these. They're supposed to be really strong and they're supposed to withstand like weights of like 100 pounds, I think. Anyways, I have like five of these. Like I have one here attached to my Sony a7 II and this is the wrist strap that I use. I really like this for city use. Say like I'm just walking around doing some street photography. I love to just have this on my wrist ready to shoot and I know that it's going to be safe. Just in case something happens, my camera drops, it's going to be safe. So that's perfect if I'm going to be using my camera a lot. So as you can see, it's mounted to the camera right here. So what I can do is just press this button right here and that will release the clip and that comes out. I don't know what this material is, but it feels very durable. There's like this leather looking material stitched onto the strap, although it's not leather. You have a Peak Design logo here. You have a metal ring right here that you can use to kind of adjust the length. And I love the styling of it as well. It comes in a different color too. I think it comes in a gray or a brown and I think you can use this as a wrist strap as well say you want to bring it along with you I don't really use it because it's just, I feel like it's a little too awkward but uh, this is the picture right here it's like a magnet that you can just wrap around so yeah this is a really good strap to use if you want your camera with you and shooting however if you're going to be walking around and you're going to be exploring and kind of just having your camera with you you're going to want to use something like this, which is a shoulder strap. This is called the Leash Ultralight Camera Strap, and this is meant for mirrorless cameras. And I absolutely love this as well. I'm going to show you. I have it on my Fujifilm X-T2 at the moment. All right, so as you can see, 
I've mounted it one over here I have a mounting point here it's exact same as the wrist strap and I have one here at the bottom for the tripod mount as well and this literally just screws off and you can take off whenever you want and it's super strong like like this part feels really thin but once you actually see it in person and you really use it it's actually really strong so that's how it looks here you have a metal adjuster to adjust the length and on the other side as well and I love the design it's pretty thin as well so when you have it on you don't really notice it so when you're shooting with and using it it's just on the side like that and it's not really obtrusive at all and when you need to use it you just put it up and you can shoot I think this was around uh, $60 on Amazon it could be cheaper I got a check and I'll link everything down below so if you want to buy it you can definitely follow the links there I highly highly recommend these straps I'm not sponsored by them I just wanted to let you guys know of my experience um, peak design you're doing a really good job 